What's up guys, welcome to a new video of Fisher McConnor. Uh, first off, I want to thank y'all for a thousand subs. Um, it took me a long time. Well, not really, it only took me like a month. But uh, yeah, so I got this brother from my ch I got this channel from my brother, I don't know if I mentioned that before. But anyway, we're getting off to a good start. We got like 400 subscribers in like a month, so that's good. But anyway, today we're going to be um, uh, like reviewing the Quatnum. Uh, build Ants edition. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so um, first off, uh, about this pole, like I said, it's a Quadrant Build Ants edition. It's a 6.6. Six. Uh, if you watch my prior videos, I usually say that I'd rather get like a 7 foot um rod but yeah so this is 6.6 six. i like the way it looks uh i guess it is good to have like a 6.6 six pole but i definitely if you don't have like the funds or whatever to get a 6.6 six and a 7 foot then i would just uh recommend getting a 7 foot but if you can get 6.6 six and a 7 foot i would definitely recommend doing that because like uh i'm gonna see at the end of this video if uh i can i have some fishing with this pole from the other day, but I don't know how much I got, so I'm gonna have to uh, go through, and I might have some fishing content in this video for y'all. You'll see at the end uh, with this pole, and uh, if you see what I'm fishing on, it would definitely be kind of hard to uh, throw a seven foot bait caster off that boat. So uh, it's definitely a good to have a six six smaller, and uh, yeah, so that's why I have a seven foot and a six six. But anyway, let's get into talking about this pole specifically. Like I said. Build Ant Special Edition. It costs seventy dollars from uh, I got it from Bass Pro. You can go look at that video. Link down below. And uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, it says it was engineered in the USA. You gotta say USA proud, son. And then you got a. Uh, it tells you like what kind of line it can hold. It can hold one hundred and twenty yards of fourteen. And this is the only pole I've ever seen that does that. But it only tells you. I know on the rod it tells you what else. But the reel specifically on this one has um, like how much it can hold and stuff. It says 120 yards for 14 pound uh, monofilament, obviously. But um, anyway, I'm gonna talk about the rod. It is a uh, medium heavy, fast action. Uh, usually you wanna put 10 to 20 pound line on this. I, I have a 12 pound line on it right now. And uh, if you see that clip at the end, then uh, that I was fishing and caught that fish on 12 pound line. It's like it's like suffix uh suffix brand line. Like I got a buy one get one free. It was uh like 9.99 for buy one get one free. So it's really like four dollars 12 pound test. It's like 330 yards. Uh, you can see more about that in one of my other videos. Like I said, link down below. Um, this rod is made in China. That's the only thing bad about it. Nobody wants stuff made from China. It just breaks. But like I said, this fish, I caught a fish on it the other day, it seemed just fine. Um, it's been holding up pretty good. And uh, yeah, so if you don't know anything about Bill Dance, I don't really know why he made a bass pole because he is a catfisher, but it's still kind of cool. So I got it, I like him. Um, this is like, a, this rod is made out of graphite. Uh, I don't really care for the, uh, the rod handles, but you can put like covers on the handle so you can get better grip. But uh, that's the only bad thing about the real, the real, the rod, the only bad thing about it I've seen is um, it doesn't have one of those uh, like hook eyelid things. So you gotta like either, I wouldn't recommend tying it up here. I don't have nothing hooked on, so I just got a little like loose knot up there. But uh, I'd recommend, if you can see right there, you can, there's a little spot on these poles that you can put it in. Uh, like if you have like treble hooks or just a regular worm hook. But uh, yeah, three bearing system. It has the regular star drag. So, like I said, this pole is not special. Like, it's not got no special abilities. Uh, I have better poles than this. But I just moved to Alabama. Don't have none of my other poles down here at the moment. But you will see my rod reel arsenal probably within a month. Um, so, uh, yeah. I don't really know what else to talk about this pole. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, hopefully I found some fishing footage of this pole for you all. What's up guys, welcome to a new video of Fishing McConnor. 
today we're going to be um, going fishing, obviously. And uh, I'm going to be fishing with the bait, uh, the video that's like the $200 beginner sit up stuff. That's all I'm going to be fishing with. So let's go see if we can catch some fish. All right, so uh, on the um, Quattnum bait caster, if you look at my video, you can see more about this. But uh, on this, we're going to be throwing soft plastic for like bass and stuff. We'll probably change up in the middle of fishing. And we got a little blue go set up. We're going to see if we can get a little catch a cook action here for y'all. We're at the bait shop. I'm gonna get some crickets, some minnows, night crawlers. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what we get when we're done. Got some minnows. Do y'all can see right there? And then we got some, um, about two new Zepcos. And we got some giant red worms. We got some crickets. And yeah, so that's all our bait. And we'll be fishing with artificial too also. Alright guys, so we just started fishing out here. We got some, we're just fishing for bluegill at the moment. We got a, uh, lost my cricket. But we got a cricket. We're fishing with crickets. We ain't been here too long. We ain't really got no bites, but hopefully we can start catching something. Um, it ain't very hot out here. It's like 60, maybe 70 degrees. Feels good. Um, it's like one of like two o'clock now. We'll probably be here for a little while. So hopefully we can catch. Just a little toss. We can get up to the baton. We're using a Texas red sink. Texas red sink. We ain't got no hits on no bluegill pole, so we're, we're switching over to bass for a second. And the other clip, I don't know why my GoPro wasn't recording, so yeah, we missed, y'all missed that, but yeah, I'll be right back with y'all if I catch anything. Alright guys, we just caught this off of Cinco. I thought my GoPro was recording, but you know it wasn't, so yeah, it's about 12 inches. I say it's probably about a pound maybe. So yeah. I'm about to get off this boat and I hope we can catch some fish. I mean we're basically fishing the bank anyway. We can go try over there one more time if you want. count for more points. <laughs> Peak, and if they want this boat, we're gonna take their spot. <laughs> you 
No, you're. All right, guys, as you can tell, um, I'm inside. I'm done. Uh, we caught one fish in this video. Sorry that uh, my GoPro skills ain't going to, ain't, ain't very good, but we are going to get better. Um, uh, let me know what else y'all would like to see. And, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. And have a nice day.